who's ready for some more money-saving tips during this holiday season. Back in a minute. Hi, this is Jan from New York City, and my channel name is Jan from New York City Saves Money. How's everybody doing today? If you're brand new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you are a veteran, viewer, and subscriber here and sincere and humble, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you're just passing by to say hello, hello. Hope you come back one day and stick around. Thank you, everybody. Really appreciate every single one of you. Going to dive right into it. Going to get my trusty glasses for part two of the 16 ways to save money during this holiday season. If you missed the first part, that's a very simple fix. Just go back to my recent upload, part one, which was out yesterday. Thank you so much. Okay, on the regular days in between the major holidays, for example, all those days that are in between Thanksgiving and Christmas, here's a really good suggestion. Keep your meals as simple as possible because basically we kind of tend to overindulge on Thanksgiving and on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, for example. And then don't forget that a week after Christmas, we have New Year's Eve, which can be another indulgent with food type of day. Therefore, I think it makes a whole lot of sense in every way, healthy way, wallet way, to just really just like cut it down and keep it simple, sweetie, as they say, the KISS method. So think about it this way. This will require less ingredients, less effort, less time, and less calories, just saying, just saying. So here are some examples of simple meals, for example, like uh, in between the holidays, uh, cheeseburgers and home fries or a cheeseburger and a baked potato or frozen French fries that you just pop in the oven, not fried fried, less grease. Next, a can of your favorite soup. I just said tomato soup because I know there's so many health benefits to that. Uh, with added a handful of rice, you could put like maybe some frozen broccoli that has been, you prepare the frozen broccoli with a little bit of butter on the side. Very simple, very lightweight. Or like a wonderful uh, tuna fish sandwich, a little bit of a salad, lightweight, no heavy, 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 because there are enough of those heavy, heavy duty eating days in between all of that. So I think that that's a great idea. Don't forget about good old fashioned pancakes, waffles, French toast, or scrambled eggs and toast, breakfast for dinner, quick and easy. You just can't beat it. And it really is a savings. Next. Try to consolidate your shopping trips all into one uh, one day, for example, uh, one or two days. Uh, don't try to decrease your expenditures on the gas and uh, try to avoid the temptation because frequent shopping trips, unless you're extremely sales resistant and you really, really, really just enjoy the fun of looking around, you could like, you know, you can look, not touch and not buy type thing. <laughs> okay. But if you have like a little bit of an area of concern about overspending and stuff like that, you have to know your level, your degree of sales resistance. So if possible, just decrease your trips to the mall or whatever, or your local little stores. Just do it all in one day, not do it five times that week, because in my honest opinion, you are increasing your risk of overspending. And as I always say, January still comes, just saying. All right, enjoy freebie fun like fun, like walking around your local area of your community. Perhaps you have like wonderful neighbors that uh, decorate all over the place, you know, with the Christmas lights and all that fun stuff. Things that you can do, like just like be an observer, just walk around and just, you know, take it all in, whatever. Uh, if you want to drive locally, not too far away, again, you know, concerns with the gas and all that. If you're not spending too much, you know, mileage on it, whatever, and just like bask in the beauty of the season. Every single season. See, I live in an area that has different seasons, okay? In the tri-state area, we have we do have winter, spring, summer, fall, and everyone is different. It's not kind of like the same all the time. 
So uh, if you happen to live in that type of an area, and even if you don't, find the joy in whatever your local area brings to you. That doesn't have to cost you anything, anything. Um, do things instead of spending. Be creative. This is... This is really important. And the thing is, it doesn't have to cost you extra money. Look around your home again, suggesting strongly scavenger, be scavenger around your own home and find things that you can put together. Perhaps consider making a homemade gift for someone. Perhaps uh, on a frosty afternoon, you may decide to bake some sugar cookies, pack them in a pretty tin and put them away for a friend or a relative. I find that being creative instead of just taking out, you know, plastic. I mean, really, to me, that is just so much more fun. It just, it warms my heart, warms my soul, and it keeps my wallet in check. <laughs> Perhaps that might work for you. I believe it would work for you, anyone viewing. Um, feel good movies. Pop on some feel good movies, videos. There are so many activities going on, like in the land of videos. If you can't personally get there, if you have physical challenges or whatever the reason, you're trying to keep your expenses down. All you have to do is to click away. There are so many feel good videos regarding people who are doing charitable acts of kindness. Just look around or people that, that making their plans, you know, with their families and, you know, like little secrets that they have in terms of cooking and baking or menu planning. Even if you don't intend to do all of this yourself, it's impossible to do everything. Right. But even if you don't intend to do all of this yourself, you can at least have the joy and have the fun. You know, it's all these holiday movies, all these Christmas movies, anything that brings you joy. And, and I'm telling you, this is a great way to just enjoy the moment. There's a, uh, there's a specific channel that plays the sounds of the season type thing. I like to hear that every year. And while I'm wrapping things or baking, it's just, just a lens to a fun atmosphere. And all I did was turn on the TV and click a channel. Hello. <laughs> hey, listen, this is like part of the stuff we're paying for. May as well maximize the value. Might as well. Just saying. Uh, check around with your local church group. If you, if you belong to a church group, see what types of activities, any socials or whatever. Or if you have a local uh, ice skating rink, you, you know, it doesn't cost you anything, a free ice skating rink. And even if you, have to go for the pay for, or if you don't like to ice skate, but you enjoy the fun of sipping hot chocolate and watching other people ice skate, hey, go for it. All you have to do is get there and watch. I've had many, many fun times doing that. I am not an ice skater by any stretch of the imagination, but I've had many fun days going over to Rockefeller Center and stuff and watching, you know, the skaters. My mom, bless her heart, bless her soul, she used to love to go ice skating and she was darn good at it may i mention just saying just saying um and then of course schedule video chats schedule phone calls uh, and you know when there's a time mutually when you know you and your intended party can block out on purpose some free time so you don't have to worry about you know like the constant you know time constraints or crazy bells ringing or whatever interruption like have a quality phone call. There is a difference between a one, two, three phone call as opposed to like, oh, wow, I sat down with someone I haven't spoken to in like forever. And like you sit down with them, whether it's on a phone or whether it's on video chat for a length of time and having a good quality, nearly virtual visit. Just saying, just saying. These are the simple joys. Hey, I have a question for you guys. Let me know what other additional simple no spend or low spend activity that you enjoy doing during the holiday season. Share it with us. I'd really appreciate it. Okay, I'm going to close out the show. Then I'm going to give you a wave and I'll be right back. Have an amazing, fantastic day and enjoy this wonderful holiday season. Take good care. Bye-bye.